The bar graphs that we have been drawing so far used vertical bars, but that is not necessary. Sometimes the bar graphs can also use horizontal bars. The graphs are exactly equivalent. They depict the exact same information. The only thing which changes is the we interchange the x and y axis. In the case of horizontal bar graph, our categories, they appear on the vertical or the y axis and our values, the corresponding values, they appear on the horizontal or the x axis. So the only that is the only thing which changes between the two graphs, the only thing which you need to take care of. Typically, when you are asked to draw a bar graph, just draw, just asked to draw a bar graph, you will draw the vertical bar graph unless you are specifically asked to draw horizontal bar graph. Vertical bar graphs are also known as column graphs. In exam, it is also, for exam purposes, it is also important to understand horizontal bar graphs. Why? Because typically when you are asked to find out the values, to read the bar graphs, you would be given horizontal bar graphs. So to read the values, horizontal bar graphs become important. To draw bar graphs, vertical bar graphs become important.